Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and yes, I, I might be a bit scalier. What are you going to do about it? Anyhow, uh, let's continue on, shall we? You notice a letter bearing Jack's name in a board of his hand. Katarina, Jack's network has caught wind of who has been selling the Yatsurugi clan's stolen treasures. This inf is information that may lead us straight to the dagger. He has summoned us both to the guild, but I could, but could I ask you to go by yourself? I cannot leave just now. Akagi and Princess Yuki are on their way here. I sent a missive telling them we may have information on the bandits who robbed her. The princess desires to learn more of them, and so she has seen fit to join us. I believe Jack will give you a thread. Follow it, and return once you have unraveled the truth. Okay, go to Zarog's guild. Very conveniently via return. And the reason why I am a dragon person is, in short, first of all, using any hairstyle other than the one I used on Makoti annoyed me, because basically I didn't like how the ears stuck out, and it made things look odd unless I had a hairstyle that sort of fit with the whole theme. And then the dragon people they have the next, like, they have a set of animations that I like, just in general, like their poses and stuff. And, yes, you may notice, I am level 60. And I've gotten the I level 200 version of my relic weapon without doing these quests. What are you going to do about it? Uh, that said... You technically don't have to do a single max level dungeon in order to get these, so... Yeah. So the, basically these quests didn't really matter. Katarina, gods know it ain't simple to make black marketeers talk, but we tickled Mulfa Kelfka's neck with a stabber and he cuffed up a load of information. The remaining bobble, a dagger by all accounts, is to be sold at an auction and attendance is invitation only. The hosts are a band who what, go by the name of oh, the True Hounds. Now, in the eyes of the law, they're selling loot cloyed from Imperials on an expedition to the Far East. But Garlemald don't control where your Dimber morts from. It's a Bene Mummery turning a profit under the guise of a proper company. The buyers won't ask too many questions, either grabbled or no, treasure is treasure. But it's just your princess's wit against the true hounds. The guild can't act on that. Not officially, anyway. I've left the investigation to a, well, let's call him a black marketeer. He's a strange one. Only came to the guild's attention recently, but I've never met a cove who could get information so quickly. The veil was lifted by a southerly, er, what? Was lifted by a southerly this morn. That'll put the man at the house of sticks. Here's a sack of blunt bene luck to you, lass. Yes, bene, bene. Based on my limited knowledge, I think that's Italian for good? Correct me if I'm wrong. No, seriously, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure it means good. The only thing I'm concerned about is I might have the... Uh, Hmm. That is quite far from everywhere. And of course, uh, which which gate is this? Tempest Gate. Okay. Hopefully, yeah. I I discovered a new editing program which actually allows me to do things that I hadn't really been capable of without serious effort previously. And it's actually a program that originated on Linux. It's called Shotcut. And it's been... They've basically developed it for Windows at this point. And in my opinion, it's just as good, if not better, than Sony Vegas that everybody uses. I've tried Sony Vegas. I personally don't like it. I've never really used it. It's a pain. But, uh, yeah, through the power of this program, we'll be at our destination in just a few seconds. And we are here, and this 
looks quite ominous. Okay. A bit curious to me that this is not instanced in any way. It also means that I am not leveled down and that my gear is... It's not great. It's 168. So it's not fantastic, but it's much better than I would be at 56. Okay, what do you have to say, sir? You want information? Then come, render unto me what is mine. Sack of Gil. Hmm, hmm, yes, yes. This seems to be everything I was promised. The back alleys are, an aw are awfully profitable, eh? Now, about these true hounds. Most of the salt hounds crawled back to the land after the calamity, but a few refused to leave the seas, and took up again as the true hounds. They sail under the black flag of one Captain Rosalind. They boast the strength of a crew twice their size, mostly because of the Pluto they take. With their muscles bolstered by the substance and a healthy dose of natural viciousness, they have brought themselves fortune and infamy on the eastern seas. Now, however, they've hidden their ship away on Holebreaker Isle and made their way to Costa del Sol. Seems they fancied a cup of ale and a peek at the dancing girls. They won't be hard to spot if you wanted a look, but do so at your own peril. Drunken pirates might not might not frighten you, but Red Way and their new sellsword should. They say he is an ex-member of Garlean Covert Operations, one who has thrown himself into the study of ninjutsu. His pursuit has paid off handsomely, albeit at the cost of his humility. Stay vigilant, or you'll find his blade pricking your back. Anyhow, that's all from me. Give my best to the dim one, little chick. <laughs> that, that's a bit ominous but okay uh, okay cool sweet I love it when I don't have to go very far you're watching noises it's the cobalt isn't it it was the cobalt yeah I don't know how many people have actually used like surround sound like analog plug surround sound you know proper computer surround sound but it is a night and day difference from headphones I will say that now and that's why I'm glad that I don't think too much background noise is picked up by my microphone so if there is feel free to let me know but I haven't noticed any Redway 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 I lost me plunder. That's coin I may never get back. But you convinced me to give ye time. Make your report worth me while, or I'll have your head. There were two thieves, Captain. The Iron Orchid herself, and some servant. The latter looks to be more brawny than brave, but the princess is dangerous. She has two shinobi in her employ. One is a Domin Jonin, Oboro. He, too, is a force to be reckoned with. The other is an Aura, Katerina, if I'm not wrong. She is famous in her own right, and dangerous. Their involvement makes me think the princess has more coin than she lets on. These two are responsible for my master's death. Their services cannot be cheap. Your master's murderers, eh? You wouldn't be dreaming of avenging Gekai on my time now, would ye? Vengeance, Captain? Why? Gekai treated me like scum, he and Karasu both, because I wasn't from their precious little village. But Oboro, if I try over Gekai's favorite, I triumph over the lot of them. That is my true heart's desire, yes. I could give a gnat's arse what ye do with the ninjas, but it's not them I want. It's the princess. Alive. The way I see it, the auction's the perfect trap. Baited as it is, with the Yatsurugi dagger. The Iron Orchid can't resist. Catching her, then... Catching her, then'll be... Easy and fast. Savvy, Redway? Of course, of course. The princess won't stand a chance if the guard doubled. No, she won't. Hmm. Oh, really? What? Where are they now? Is that the end? That can't be the end. 
Like, I realize the whole point of this is, you know, the story quests build up to a big, like, ending or whatnot, but... That... What? Just... What? What? Yeah, I fought three enemies. But all I did was walked around and listened to some text, but for the most part. Or read you guys some text. But. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Curious. Well then, let's see what Aboro has to say about this, shall we? Oh, you're a random person. Success, Katarina? Hmm. This Rosalind is a clever one, spying upon us through Redway. Princess, the foe will be watching for our tricks now. Reclaiming the last treasure will be that much harder, so I beg you, leave it to us, Shinobi. I know there's sense in what you say, Aburo, but this is my problem. I alone must solve it. I... I will not allow more people to die in my name. The true hounds didn't just steal the treasures. My people stood in their way, and many died. Too many. I wanted to fight, but my vassals wouldn't allow it. And as they were cut down, they called for me, screamed my name. You can't imagine... can't imagine how that feels. My lands are so close to destruction. My people are on the brink of starvation. If I do not do something, all their sacrifices will mean nothing. When I came here, I vowed I would bring prosperity to my country by finding and selling my treasures. Alone. No one would ever die protecting me again. Not my small folk, nor my vassals, nor you. You don't want anyone to die protecting you, princess? What about those of us who would give our lives willingly to defend you? If, if you won't trust in the shinobi, then I, or then, then I, I'll slice open my belly. What? I'm bound to you, princess, but they're not. We've given them no coin, no gratitude, and yet they're still helping us. You can trust them, you have to, or there's no taking back the treasure. Trust the shinobi, or lose me and add one more to those who died trying to protect you. That'll get you to stop, right, princess? <laughs> Akagi, you have the strangest way of... Clearly, sh the shinobi have left a great impression upon you. Aburo, Katarina, consider this my formal request. Help me retake our last treasure. But I have one condition. No matter what happens, you will not lay down your lives for mine. Call it a duty to stay alive, if you wish. To stay alive, hmm? An interesting notion. Shinobi are trained to put duty ahead of all else, including our lives. That said, Katarina, this is the mission that has been given you. You are duty-bound to see it through. And come what may, I know that completing it will aid in your growth as a Shinobi. I see. This one's about the feels. Now, we wait, and watch for signs of the auction. I will appro approach Jack. With the eyes and ears in his service, we will spread a web, and so catch word of the Yatsurugi clan's dagger. Interesting. Alright. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, next time we'll pick up with the next one. But I'm going to call this good for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.